Hey guys, so the graphic tablet company Huion just sent me one of their latest pen tablet monitors, the Canvas GT221 Pro. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this product. This is a sponsored video, so there are things I have to mention, but it will be an honest review on my part. The GT221 Pro is Huion's latest and most advanced drawing tablet to date. It rivals Wacom's Cintiq 22HD and matches up with it in just about every way, while being a little under half the price. It is a 1080p monitor, has a 178 degree viewing angle, which is good because you will usually be viewing this monitor at a leaned back angle, and it also has a 72% NTSC wide color gamut and 16.7 million colors, which is pretty good. It has 10 express keys and a touch bar on each side, with symmetrical settings so the buttons will do the same thing for a right-handed person and a left-handed person. It has 8192 levels of sensitivity, which is 4 times that of the Cintiq 22HD, a reports per second rate of 233, and a resolution of 5081 lines per inch. So here's the box it comes in. You can't see it from this angle, but there is a handle on the very top for easy lifting. I'm going to lift the flaps here and slide it out. And before I slide it out, I notice that the first thing I see is this note that says, thank you for choosing Huion. Cool. So when I slide it out, we see that it is encased in foam with all the components compartmentalized. First, we have a cardboard box, which I will open first, and it contains the two sections of the power cable the USB cable to send the monitor's pen inputs to the computer, the charging cable for the pen, a glove to protect your screen from the oils of your hand, a microfiber cloth to clean the screen, a screwdriver to attach the stand to the back of the monitor, and in little bags taped to the inside of the box we have the extra nibs for the pen and four screws for the stand attachment. Next, we have the VGA cable and HDMI cable, which are two of the three cables you can use to connect the display signal of the monitor to the computer, the third being a DVI cable. Next, I saw two boxes, one cardboard box that said gift on it, and another black box of similar size. When I opened the cardboard box, I saw that it had the pen in it. And then when I opened the black one, I saw that there was a black case for the pen. What I didn't realize was that there was another pen inside the black case, which means the first pen I found was actually an extra pen, which is why GIFT was written on the box. So Huion actually includes an extra pen for free, which you can sell or keep for when your other pen breaks, if ever. So when we remove the top foam section, first we see the stand, which holds up the monitor and can be adjusted to different angles. And then we see this plastic bag, which contains a CD with a driver on it, the manual, and a warranty card. Now here is the monitor itself, in its own bag. And here is the stand taken out of the foam wrapping. So I'm going to install the back, and it's extremely straightforward. Four screws, and there's a diagram on the back if you can't figure it out. Looks like there's two sets of holes, and this can be mounted on one of those swivel arms if you want to be able to hover it over your desk or on your lap. Once it's attached, you can pull on the tab at the bottom to adjust the angle of the stand. And here's a closer demonstration of that. The monitor offers three modes of display connections, HDMI, DVI, and VGA, and next to those ports are the power port and the USB port. So I'm going to connect all the cables to it, starting by connecting the power cords together, attaching the USB cord, attaching the power cord, then attaching the HDMI cable. So here's the pen case opened. It's got eight slots for extra pen nibs, as well as a nib remover ring and it's encased in a sturdy rubber material, and it has magnets on the lid, which makes it snap shut very nicely. The pen itself is lightweight and ergonomic. It does not have an eraser on the back, which is fine with me because it's faster for me to press E on the keyboard instead of turn the pen backwards. The pen charges with this cable, and you plug it into the computer through a USB port to charge it. Supposedly, a single charge will last the pen 350 hours. I have yet to test this claim. When I peel off the plastic from the screen, you can see that the glass reduces glare by diffusing the reflection and making it more blurry. Installing the driver can be done with the included CD or through the internet if you don't have a CD drive. You go to huion.com, go to drivers, find the right model, and download the latest driver for the correct operating system. The monitor is compatible with all of these operating systems and will work with all major programs that use pen inputs. Although it doesn't tell you to restart once the driver is done installing, it does say to restart in the manual, and it won't work until you restart your computer. One thing I noticed for me, I'm not sure if this happens to everyone, but the Huion driver doesn't run when Windows starts up, so I can't use my pen until I open it from the start menu. 
but this is easily fixable by putting the Huion tablet shortcut in the startup folder. So when you click on the Huion menu, you see the options to configure the express keys. Any configuration you choose for one button will automatically assign itself to the button across from it. If you click here, you can see that they let you do pretty much any keyboard and mouse combination you can think of. You can even have it press 16 keys in a row using this string feature. You can set it to switch display, so you can actually set the cursor to be on another monitor while you control it on the tablet. Switch brush lets you switch back and forth between the eraser and the brush quickly. You can also set it to open a program here using the shell program feature. Next we have the stylus pen settings, and this allows us to set additional hotkeys on the two pen buttons. I usually set mine to the delete key because that key is the most out of the way for how often that I use it. Here is where you can test the pressure sensitivity. As you can see, there's a pretty wide range. You can also use this slider to set the sensitivity curve to make it take more or less pressure to get the same brush thickness. On the work area tab, you can set the preferences for each monitor. So if for some reason you wanted to control the pen in another monitor using only a fraction of the space, you could do that. You would use your switch display hotkey in order to move the cursor to the other monitor. You can also rotate it in case your other monitor is mounted vertically. If you go to the About tab, you can also export your config preferences as an XML file in case you are switching computers and don't want to set all your hotkeys again. My experience with the monitor so far has been pretty good. I especially noticed the wide range of pressure sensitivity when using Photoshop. I feel like I have a real pencil in my hand because of how light I can get the brush to be when I just lightly press on the screen. And if you're wondering, I'm drawing the Logitech speaker sitting on my desk. With animating, it feels pretty natural as well. I'm used to the Intuos 4, which is just a displayless tablet, so upgrading to a monitor where I can see what I'm drawing on the same surface that I'm pressing is a big upgrade. So about the express keys, I'm so used to using my keyboard for all the keyboard shortcuts in Flash and Photoshop that it's really hard to switch to using express keys. And since there are so many shortcuts, I don't know if I would even be able to fit them all on 10 keys. But I can see myself using it to switch to the display if I ever want to quickly do something on another monitor and don't want to put down my pen and pick up my mouse. The touch strip is a nice quick way to zoom in and out too. So thanks again to Huion for sponsoring this video, and if you're considering getting the GT221 Pro, the links to get it are in the description. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.